Brooklyn Independent Television. So you're not an artist and you don't own a kiln, but you love pottery and you'd love to be able to make your own, right? Well, if the thought of making that pot from scratch seems a little daunting, then simply come here and paint one at Baked in Brooklyn. You pick it, you paint it, they bake it. Voila. Baked in Brooklyn is a craft studio where anyone can come in and create something beautiful. The idea for Baked in Brooklyn came about when I was laid off from my normal job. I was a researcher. I was doing research at Mount Sinai on um, children's neuroscience. And I was looking for something else to do and I didn't want just another paperwork kind of job. We offer a selection of activities including painting pottery, which is the main thing that we do, but we also have ceramic classes. We have adult craft nights which feature different activities including mosaics. My name is Sarah Azanero and I work at Baked in Brooklyn and today we're going to talk about mosaics. This is what I've been working on. It's a mermaid mosaic. We like mermaids here. We also have a sun and a moon. We do coaster sets. Sometimes we have mosaic nights. So for mosaics, the first step is to cut the glass. And then after you have your glass cut, you can start putting it in a pattern. What I like to do is I like to draw out a pattern and just follow that. So here I've been doing the wave pattern, so now I'm just gonna fill in this area here. So it's kind of like a puzzle, or like Tetris, the game Tetris. You just fill it in wherever it can fit in. I live in the community, and I thought about things that were needed here, and a place where people can come and do art in a non-judgmental environment that's really often fun and caters to groups especially. So Williamsburg seems like the perfect spot to do this. Just there's a lot of creativity, a lot of energy, a lot of youth in the neighborhood. This is part of the adults hand building class. And I'm gonna do a simple demo of a soap dish. I started off with paper cutouts. So I'm transforming a 2D piece of paper into something 3D. So this was a cutout for the middle piece. It's actually gonna hold soap. I teach kids and adults classes at Baked. Um, we start out from age four and range up to age 104 when necessary. So we do a very wide range. It's very fun for me to teach people ceramics. I think I learn more from my students sometimes than they learn from me, which is, I think, the good thing about being a teacher. It's very fun. It's interesting getting people with all different types of backgrounds. So they think of ideas that I've never come up with, and I show them technicalities of how to do things, and it's very fun. We will score and slip another sharp object and we pretty much draw an X in the clay and this is how you quote unquote glue clay together and then you can use slip or water kind of pinch it together. I'm actually skilled and educated in a lot of different mediums, a lot of different materials. I choose clay because I think it's the most fun to work with. It's safer than a lot of different materials and it's a 3D white canvas. Let it set up a little bit so it's a little bit stiffer so it's not so flimsy, and that's gonna sit right in here. I think ceramic arts are really popular in the city, especially in New York. Um, as far as the art scene goes, it's very painting-driven, very Chelsea gallery-driven, which is really great, but for people that don't work on that scale or that level of art, they can just come in and be a part of it at a much calmer, relaxing level. And this is a soap dish. The process when people come in is they choose a piece, they design and paint their piece and we help them out with that. All of the pieces are bisque items and so when they come and choose a piece, the piece has already been fired once. And when I say fired, that means that it's been cooked in the kiln. So this is a ring holder that has been painted and you'll notice that it's all green. Um, all of the pieces after people paint them, we dip in a clear overglaze and that makes sure that they're all shiny and completely food safe when they come out of the kiln. So the glaze that we use turns everything green, but the green turns clear once we put it in the kiln. So this is one of our kilns. Um, we put all of the pieces in the bottom of the kiln like this, 
and then we stack, we load the whole shelf until it's full of pieces. And then we use these, these are called kiln posts. Um, and we rest them inside and then we add shelves on top so that we end up with a tower of ceramics until the whole kiln is full. The kiln goes up to 828 degrees every time that we fire. The process takes usually about 18 hours to start and fire the kiln until it cools down. When people come in, they usually have to come back in about three or four days to pick them up. I have been working in clay since I was like 10 years old, and so it's been something that I've always enjoyed doing, and so branching out and starting this business kind of gave me the chance to indulge an endeavor that I have always been interested in. I think what sets us apart is that our studio really has a really positive vibe. The energy is a great asset for us. We have people of all ages. We have excited adults who just, you know, in the course of a normal day, don't necessarily have the chance to do something that's artistic, that's creative, and that is fun. It's not like a run of the mill, oh, it's all a bunch of kids in there, and I just want to get out. It's really noisy and stressful. I think it's a place people come to relax and have fun. Follow us on Twitter at BK Independent TV.